this is the third problem in this they said that find the indicated term of each gp so in this gp we have to find the seventh term so here the first term they have given so what is given the first term is a is equals to a1 is equals to 9 and the common ratio is r is equals to 1 by 3 we know the nth term formula in gp is an is equals to a r to the power of n minus 1 so this is the formula next we have to find the seventh term so what is a a is 9 and r is 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 so n is 7 so 7 minus 1 so 9 9 means we can write 3 square into 1 by 3 whole to the power of 7 minus 1 that is 6 3 to the power of 2 into 1 by if we multiply 1 6 times we will get 1 and if we multiply 3 to the power of 6 that means we can write 3 to the power of 6 so in this 6 3's if you cancel 2 3's so what is left 4 3's will be left so answer is 1 by 3 to the power of 4 so a7 is equals to a7 is equals to 1 by 3 to the power of 4 next here the first given is first term is minus 12 and common ratio is 1 by 3 then here we have to find the sixth term so sixth term means a n is equals to a r to the power of n minus 1 then next in this nth term we have to substitute 6 so a is minus 12 and r is 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 n minus 1 is 6 minus 1 minus 12 1 by 3 whole to the power of 6 minus 1 that is 5 minus 12 into 5 if we multiply 1 5 times we will get 1 then next 3 to the power of 5 here this can be written as 3 to 4 into 1 by 3 to the power of 5 so 1 3 and 1 3 will get cancelled we will get 3 to the power of 4 so the answer will be minus 4 1s are 4 by 3 to the power of 4 this is the sixth term.